Hi friends, welcome. How is everyone doing today? We have such a fun video for today. We are going to be talking all about the celebration gifts from the Stampin' Up! catalog. It just started today. So all of the free gifts in this brochure just started today. So actually, 12 hours ago. <laughs> so I am so happy that you're joining me today. I popped on just a moment early, so no worries if you're just joining in. Not a problem. Please say hi so that I know you are here. Let's see. I see Kathy and Lynn and Stella and Patricia. How is everybody today? So happy you're here. Yay! We have so many samples to show with uh, share with you and to show you I have the products in here to show you I'm going to give you tips on how I made a lot of things we are just going to have a ton of fun yay so this is going to be a product review I can finally share inside the catalog we can look together through the whole thing since it's live today we're going to start with the hippos that you see on my table go through the catalog and I have samples for each different product that I'm going to share with you. So it's going to be lots of fun. Hi, Lindsay and Tracy, Jennifer, Mary Ellen, Mary, Kathy, Chris, Diana, Genevieve, Cheryl. Oh my goodness, so many people are popping on. Hello, everybody. I was a minute early, so I'm just going to give everybody about 30 more seconds to join in live. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Super exciting. Yay. I think just for good measure, hang on one second. I'm just going to plug in my iPad because I think I forgot to charge it. And I just want to make sure that we don't run out of juice, as my dad would have said. Um, not that he had an iPad, but you know what I mean. That's what he would have said, that it would have run out of juice. <laughs> Hey, Jenny. So, Jenny, I just saw an email come through from Stampin' Up! that you just joined my team just this morning, and I'm so excited. Uh, I do have, I'm going to show you real quick before we get going on everything else. This is the planner that Stampin' Up! is sending to any new demonstrator in July and August, and I do have it here. I'm going to show you that at the end. So, Jenny will be getting one of those. So happy you have joined my team, Jenny. That is so awesome. Yay. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Kind words. Thanks, everybody. Yay. All righty. So let's get started. This is me, Patty Bennett. You can catch all of my daily blog posts, the samples I'm going to be showing you. They will all be on my blog, pattystamps.com in the coming couple of weeks. Um, I am spacing them out. It would be, the blog post would be way too long if I tried to put everything in there in one post. So we're spacing it out. You'll find everything there over the coming couple of weeks. I just want to mention I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And last week, I forgot to post this, but I celebrated 27 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Can you even believe that? 27 years? It's a long time. Yay! <laughs> so, I have lots to share with you. I am going through the celebration brochure today, showing you all the products and lots of samples, because we have six whole months to go through the holiday catalog that also released today. We've got six months to go through this, and I've got tons of products and samples to show you from here as well. But this only lasts for two months, July and August. So I thought we better get going on this and let's talk about this first and what this is and how it works. So a couple of questions that I know always come up. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Lindsay. Hi, Trina. So glad you found me. Let's talk about how this works. So Stampin' Up! has this celebration uh, promotion and 
The products in here will be marked, whether they are free with a $50 order or some of them are free with a $100 order. So we're going to look at that. But one thing I just want to say, you do not have to order just from this catalog. You can order from the annual catalog as well as anything in the clearance rack or the kits collection. You can order other things to qualify for these $50 and $100 orders. I know a lot of people think they have to buy like Christmas or fall out of this. You don't. You can purchase anything in my online store. And to find it, just go to pattystamps.com or you can go to pattystamps.com slash shop. If you just put in slash and then shop, you will find my store that way as well. So the first gift we come to is this adorable Hippest Hippos stamp set. Isn't this cute? Just trying to get the glare off. There you go. It is so adorable. And at first I thought, oh man, I wish it was penguins. But the penguins are back in the holiday catalog. So I was like, okay, we have the penguins back. And as soon as I started stamping these and coloring them and um, using them in cards, I was like, oh my gosh, these are the cutest. So the stamp set is one gift that you could select for $50 in orders. The dies are a separate gift. So they are over here and you can select this as your free gift with a $50 order. So you have choices here. During celebration, you could say you wanna just place a $50 order, you could do that. If you wanna place a $100 order, you can do that and pick two things. If you wanna place a $150 order, select three things, you can do that and you would get host benefits. So it's, there's no limits, you can keep going, you can order whatever you would like and keep adding to your free um, your free gifts. So just wanted to put that out there because I get questions every year about that. So let's look at some of the cutest things that I, I think they're cute. I think they're adorable. I hope you agree. So this is one card that I made and I simply stamped this cute little ballerina hippo onto a die cut circle. So here, I did not actually use these dies. You don't have to use them, right? You could just stamp and color on just cardstock, or in this case, I actually used a circle die cut. So you have that option. And I kind of wanted it to look like she was maybe at a recital, like a little ballerina recital. And so I thought this was kind of festive to do this. And we are going to look at this later. I have other samples, but let me just show you sneaky peeky here. It is this set of dies. It is one of the free gifts in the celebration catalog, and it is called Tree Lot. So do you see this right here? This is the die I used, and I'll get it out and show you. This is so fun. Show you what I did. So I die cut just white cardstock with this die. This is supposed to be like, you know, twinkle lights, like the backyard um, cafe lights. And then, this is so fun, to color those to make them look like just cafe or twinkle lights, I used a pencil eraser, dipped it in my yellow daffodil ink pad, and I just made circles like that to make them yellow. And so that was just the easiest way. You could use a marker, you could do that as well, but that made nice little round circles for those cute little light bulbs. Isn't that a fun idea? And when I get this fun card on my blog, that will be on there as well, so that you can go back and you can kind of refresh and see what I did with that. So that's this cute card, and I did use a blending brush in the background to just add a little pink glow there to just make her just so, so cute and sweet and feminine. Oh, good, Robin. She said she just ordered that. Yay. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We have so many fun people joining. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you liked that idea. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 
So, oh yes, happy Canada Day to everyone in Canada. And we have here in the U.S., we have 4th of July coming up this weekend. So it is our Independence Day on Monday. And I should have said, happy July. This is July 1st, so happy July. So as I was making these hippo cards last weekend, my husband walked by and he said, don't forget to make a pink hippo. I was like, uh, okay, a pink hippo. Well, why not? So I made a pink hippo and I thought this was kind of cute. I just thought maybe a Valentine card or an anniversary card. Our anniversary was last week and I almost, well, this, this week, I mean, it was on Tuesday of this week. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like the weekend already, but it's Friday. Anyway, I almost gave him this for our anniversary, but um, I don't know. I didn't, I don't think of myself as a pink hippo. So that's why I didn't. Is that weird? I don't know. That might be crazy. But anyway, so yeah, he did not get this card. <laughs> but uh, these are die cut with the hippo dies. You could hand cut them if you didn't want to get the dies. But let me show you some other cute parts that come in the hippo dies that I think might convince you that these dies are just so fun to get. Just taking my little post-it flags off of here. So here are the dies. Here's an example of using the dies for one of the hippo cards. I've used this little wave piece and made waves out of the glimmer paper. So this is Orchid Oasis glimmer paper. Comes in the pack with all the in colors. And then I used the Starry Sky glimmer paper to make a little sailboat. So there's the boat die. He's got his propeller here, right there. And one of these cute little uh, life ring, lifesaver rings. Is that what you call those? I think that's what you call it. That's in here too, right here. And then there's the snorkel and the sunglasses or goggles, whatever you want to make those. So I thought he was just so cute say, sailing away on the high seas. This is from the Rays of Light uh, background stamp. And I stamped it and then I just die cut out partially with a scalloped circle to make it sort of look like sunshine. And then here's another idea if you need another idea for using these dies. So this tub I cut out of the Orchid Oasis Glimmer paper and I actually did a little shading with Stampin' Blends. Did you know that you can use your blends right on Glimmer paper? Isn't that fun? And then these little splish splash uh, water splashes are also in that set. This is an amazing set. The more I looked, the more I saw things that I could die cut from it. And I was actually showing this card, Lifesaver Ring, Life Preserver. Thank you, Betty. That is the word I was looking for. Thank you. Thanks, Patricia. So glad you like them. Oh, thanks. I see Genevieve and Trina said that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, it's not weird that I don't think of myself as a pink hippo. Thank you. <laughs> so I was chatting with a couple of my friends while I was making this card. And I said, I wish I had a stamp that said splish splash, because that's sort of what I thought this reminded me of. And my friend Tammy said, Use the Sunny Splash stamp set. It has Make a Splash. So you can see here, it's a long skinny stamp, but I just inked each word individually with my marker and made it so that it would go vertically like this, Make a Splash. So that's what I used for that. And then Hello Sunshine would have been cute on there as well. I thought that is really a fun um, mashup, I guess, of sets. So that's that one. And then this one, I had this piece laying around from something else I was working on. It's four of the five Stampin' Up! in colors. And I just thought, why not? I'm going to add you are, and then it says you are sweet. And I just did this cute little hippo on that one. And that you are, we're going to look at this again in a minute here, but it is from one of the other celebration sets. So you are, let's see, where is it? It's right, right there. You are is in the set and it is called Amazing Phrases. It is another offering that Stampin' Up! has for celebration, but we'll look at that in a minute. 
Before we leave the hippos, let me show you this. I was experimenting with colors. So you have um, smoky slate and gray granite. So those are wonderful shades of gray for your hippo if you want a gray hippo. But then I did an experiment and I colored the whole hippo with light crumb cake first. Then I put the light smoky slate over everything except the tummy. And it's a little different of a look, a little warmer of a gray. So experiment with both the natural tones and the grays and the, the crumb cake and you'll get lots of different looks. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen, I did a video on this on Instagram. So if you are looking for that, look up Patty Stamps or Patty Bennett on Instagram and you will find the video for that. Oh, lay out all my cute cards. Yes, let me do that. I will do that for you. So here we have, you can take a screenshot if you want to. They will be on my blog coming up, um, like I said, throughout the next week or two. So there you go. Feel free to grab a screenshot. I will. Uh, yeah, Tree Lot Dyes just came out today, Tammy. It is part of Celebration. We're going to get to that in the catalog as we go through it. It just debuted today in that. It's one of the free gifts. All right. Uh, yes, Tammy, you have awesome ideas. Thank you so much for helping me with that. Thanks, Linda. She says stinking cute cards. Okay, thank you. She loves them too. Thanks, Genevieve. Thank you, everyone. Yes, adorable. Uh, like I said, I was sort of on the fence and I was like, oh, I don't know, hippos. And the minute I started working with them, I was hooked. They are so, so, so cute. And I think really for me, what makes it is all the options in this set of dies, all the things you can do with it. It's not just, you know, simply hippos that are just hippos, right? You have all these fun options. So again, just to recap, if you joined late, you can opt to have the hippo stamp set as your free gift with a $50 order, or you can get the hippo dies as a free gift with a $50 order. If you place a $100 order, you can select both. I should mention that during celebration, even though it's the month of July and August 2022, if something runs out, they don't have time to place an order with the manufacturer for more. So if it runs out, it's gone. So don't delay if this is something that you think you might like. All right, so we are going to look at this Rings of Love paper next. So let me set aside our hippos, our adorable hippos. So cute. They are so, so, so cute. And I want to show you the Rings of Love paper and some samples I was making with that. Let me just check if there were any questions. Yes, very blessed, Anne. 27 years as a demonstrator. I am so blessed. I love this job. Absolutely. Thanks, Cindy. She says adorable cards. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Mary. So another gift, we're switching gears now, designer paper is always super, super popular as a free gift because designer paper you use up, right? You you use it and you want more and you want to make more cards. I cut the pieces into four by six just so we could quickly kind of flip through there. I'm not going to describe every one. You can see what they look like, but I just want you to get sort of an idea of what is in this package and then I'll show you what I was working on. So now we're on to the what I call the back sides. This I uh, love, capital L, love, love, love. That piece I've used a lot. And the birds, of course, I love the birds. Love the plaid, love the flowers. Okay, so that gives you sort of an overview of what this paper looks like. Now let me show you what I did. I thought this was kind of fun. And it actually incorporates another gift. So we'll look at that as well. One of the gifts, and it's coming up, is this package of card bases and envelopes. And I think, personally, I think this is a super generous gift. In this package, 
you have 20 of the envelopes printed on the front and on the insert. And you have 20 card bases. So let's look at those. So this one has a pool party. Can you see how pretty that is? It's got a really lovely, very soft looking print. It kind of goes with that splendid day suite. It reminds me of that. And it's just a, a very soft pool party background there. And then you have the same leaf pattern in white on, I almost wanted to say pistachio. It's not, we don't have that color anymore. It's soft sea foam. So there, do you see that? So let me hold the two of them up. I hope that's focusing okay. I know sometimes the camera is kind of fritzy when I try to hold something up close, but it's the same pattern on those card bases, and then you have the envelopes. So what I did was I decided I was going to cut up that Rings of Love paper, and I just did, I think, let me measure. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. This is not really important. Okay, I did one and three quarter inches tall, and, and that doesn't matter. You can cut whatever dimension you like. And then I matted that piece onto a two inch wide piece of cardstock so that I had a bunch of strips like this. And then I used those strips just on top of the base card. And so I just added them either to blue or green, whichever one I thought looked better. And then my idea was using some kind of a circle, I would just do a circle element on each card. So this is just a die cut piece of the paper in this pack with the birds and then a scalloped circle as its mat. This one, did you notice when I showed you the paper, there was a tree rings and it reminds me of a tree trunk is what I think of, but it's, you know, like when they cut down the tree and you have a tree ring. So I cut out the little houses that are on the paper as well and layered it on that circle. And you might be wondering, I used my blends to color on this new ribbon. This ribbon is called Satin Edge. It's gold satin edge ribbon. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just used my blends to color right on it so that I could have some red and gold ribbon. This one is pool party ribbon and just a die cut circle from Stylish Shapes, I believe. And then I just fussy cut all those little elements out of the paper. And this one is also a die cut and I'm sorry, I'm not recalling what die set this came out of. It's new this year but it's in the annual catalog. And I added some soft succulent ribbon, which I think personally goes really, really, really well with pool party. I don't know, do you, what do you think? Do you like that? I, I think the combination is beautiful. It's just like a shade greener, but I think it goes perfectly with this. So here are those four ribbons that I used. Two are new, two are from the annual. So we had that gold ribbon, and the soft sea foam and the pool party. So I'll do it like this. These are in the annual catalog. These are new in the holiday catalog that released today. And then the green is soft sea foam. Let's see, where did I do? I buried it. Here it is. So that is on here. So it's just a simple way to make some cards. You can make them fairly quickly just by making those strips, grabbing some kind of a circle element, and then just going through that pack of paper. So I'll leave those laid out in case you want to do a screenshot of those for that idea. I thought it was just simple, easy, a fun way to kind of introduce myself to each of the patterns. What do you think? Do you like this? Oh, thanks. Pam loves it. Diana does. Thanks, Tanya. Yes, a, a excellent set of gift cards if you wanted to make a set of gift cards for someone. I did want to keep the greetings super simple. 
You could add, you know, little, um, like the new fine sparkle gems. You could add the new seasonal sequins. You could add sequins and gems. This color would look gorgeous on these. You could add whatever you want onto them. Oh, look, the festive pearls. That would look great on those as well. But I wanted to simple. I wanted to start simple and you could always add, you could add, um, the greetings could go on little die cut tags. Let's see what else. This would be great for some of them. You could do the little banners. So you could really dress these up or you can just keep them fairly quick and simple. Thank you. Okay. You like them. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, Jennifer, I know she said she didn't really know if she needed this paper. I wasn't sure either. But of course, you know, it's free. And so, of course, I'm going to find a use for it. And I actually really liked how they turned out. So that is that. And let me just turn the page and show you. So one page over, this is the, the card bases that we were just looking at. So that's another option, free with your $50 purchase. Those are the card bases and envelopes I used for my set of cards here. Any questions on those before we move on? Let me just check and see if there were any questions. Oh, thank you, April. Thanks, everybody. Carol. Oh, Renee, thank you, everybody. Yes, a simple design. You're right, Libby. I just wanted it really simple. Awesome. I'm glad you are liking this. Thank you, everybody. Ah, Tammy says that I'm determined to make her fussy cut. Well, the good news is things like this are super easy to fussy cut. The circle, you could even die cut that. Um, I think it matches the dies. And then those are pretty easy. That was not fussy cut. This, I'll admit, took a little minute to fussy cut. So, you know, I'll admit that. This wasn't too bad, but yeah. If you're not a fussy cut fan, find a different way to use it like this. So just do this. Die cut or punch a circle or even a square. It could be whatever shape you want, but you don't have to do the fussy cutting. I just personally super enjoy fussy cutting. <laughs> Oh, good, Janelle. I'm glad you got the paper. Hi, Susan. You'll have to rewatch our replay because I'm about half done. Now, this set I didn't get to making any samples with, so we'll save that for another time. I think with our July watercoloring promotion that we're doing, this will be a great set for that, so uh, watch for that down the road. Okay, next up we have this silver and gold foil paper. So let's look at that and look at some of the samples that I made with that. It's, a, let's see, how many? 24 sheets, six by six. And I put one of each right here, right at the top, so that you could get a sense of this. Two patterns in gold and two patterns in silver. So polka dots and stripes. And it's white on the back. I like this because then I don't have to worry about, oh, wait, I don't want to use this side because I want to use the back. So you don't have to worry, right? You just use it up and you have 24 sheets of all of these. So six, 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 and six. Fabulous value, free gift with $50 purchase. You can color it with blends with brushes with daubers with water painters you can use it as is you can emboss it let me show you a few things I did with it I know the suspense is killing you right you just want to see it you want to see them all so first let me show you this Whoop! almost dropped them let me show you this cute idea these little tags are die cut from Oops, please hold, please hold. Oh man, where'd I put it? Here it is, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh man, I didn't even label this yet. Well, let's look and see what this is called. Oh, it's right here, Celebration Tags. So it's this tag and when you die cut it, it makes a score in the middle and it gives you these cute little scalloped edges and you fold it in half, you could glue it shut or you could make it so that the recipient can open it. But how cute are those with the that paper? 
And I thought, oh my goodness, you can't beat it, right? Free paper and make adorable tags. So I thought those were really cute. cute just super simple idea there. Then I was thinking, how would this look if it was embossed? Now, I'm going to have to, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I used this really cute embossing folder. It's new. It's Alpine Mountains and Snow. Can you see that embossed there? I know it's really hard to see, but it's really cute in person. And let me show you when you make it into a card, it's really adorable. So we have those embossed mountains in the background. And these are all from the tree lot dies that we were looking at earlier. We're going to look at that again, but just a little sneak peek there. And I used a blending brush. I just added some blue sky to it, and I thought it was really, really cute. Uh, wait, I was just thinking of one thing to show you. Oh, the, I wanted to show you where that embossing folder came from because... So far, everyone I've talked to has missed this. So it's back here, page 81 of the Holiday Catalog, and it's called Charming Landscapes. There's two different embossing folders. You can also see it on page 17, but it's really easily missed. And so I didn't want you to miss it, okay? That is what this embossing folder was from, and it's this three by six size. So I just cut one of these pieces in half and tried that out. Thought that was really cute. And as just a little sneak peek here, I'm sort of thinking this fun paper from the holiday catalog I was thinking of incorporating that embossed piece somehow into a card. So I just wanted to keep this together so I wouldn't forget because I forget some of these great ideas. There, there's the other two pieces. There's three different pieces in that fun paper. So I'm just setting that aside. That's just an idea down the road. Another really great embossing folder that you could miss is called Whimsical Woodland. It's in the holiday catalog. Do you see, can you see all those trees? I'm sorry for that ring light glare. But I embossed it on glimmer paper, which is to die for amazing. And then I also tried it on this free celebration paper, and I thought it was really cute. It's one of those things where you just kind of have to see it and feel it up close and in person to really appreciate it. I'm sure on camera it's not coming out super great, but <clears throat> really, really, really cute. Cute idea with that. And... I think that's what I've done so far with this. Well, I've done other things with it, but I can't show you because they're packed away for our Alaska cruise. We're using this paper on four different projects for our Alaska crafting cruise that's coming up in a month. Oh my gosh, in a month. Yeah, the camper, so adorable. We're going to look at that again in a minute when we get to that page. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, everybody. Glad you like it. I know this camper is just super cute. And I actually <clears throat> have kind of a funny story about the camper. Um, <clears throat> so I'll give you a little spoiler. It <laughs> so here I am, die cutting the camper, putting the pieces together. And I, I'm thinking to myself, well, there's no other wheel. There's no tire for the front. How does it roll? How, do you, how does this camper work? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. It's called a fifth wheel where this part goes inside the bed of a truck and then it kind of lifts up and it's towed. So that's why it only has back wheels. So there might be a few of you out there who didn't know that. And so now you know, but I, we don't camp. I don't know about camping. And so, yeah. <laughs> now, you know, let's see, where did the green paper come from? Gay, are you asking about the glimmer paper? This is the in color glimmer paper package. So it's in the annual catalog and it's all five colors of glimmer paper all five in colors with glimmer paper is is that the one you were asking about gay let me know hi cammy so glad you found me yay oh yes mary said that sure her parents had a camper right that's a fifth wheel that's what i said pam yeah it's a fifth wheel i kind of got it after a while but at first i was really kind of like, where, where's the wheel? What do I do? do? Do I have to make another one? But anyway, okay, that tells you how little I know about camping. <laughs> so let's look at this cute set. 
It is called Amazing Phrases, and look at all these options. You can mix and match, so they've got really cute, like woohoo, to another year around the sun, you are amazing, um, oops, I'm the worst. I assume that's like if you missed somebody's birthday, right? Look at this cute one. Hey, 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 you did it. Such cute ideas to mix and match with this. And my husband said it's okay if I show you this. This is the card I made for our anniversary. I gave him this earlier this week. And so I used the woohoo to another year. And look at this. I used so many celebration products on here. So that is the card, the pool party card that we looked at. This I fussy cut out of the Rings of Love paper, right? So three different uh, celebration products on here. Oh, it's not a fifth wheel. It's a pull behind. Uh, okay, a fifth wheel is different. Well, see, I know even less than camping than I thought I did. So there you go. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So look at this cute card. When you open it up, look how fun that is. Isn't that fun? And so then inside I did amazing together and happy 30 number number 36 to my hubby. And I see that this is really grainy. I'm just going to wait a minute and hope that it comes back. The signal must be it must be in some weird place with the signal. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just going to pause for a minute and see if um, it if it clears up. So if you can let me know if it clears up. I mean, it looks like it's trying. I hope it is. Um, yeah, he did love the card. He did. And this is that paper that I told you that I absolutely love out of Rings of Love. Isn't that beautiful? So there. So that uses this set and the card and that fun uh, Rings of Love paper. Oh man, it looks like it's grainy again. I know it's trying, Tammy, isn't it? It's trying. So hang on just a moment. I'm just going to set this aside and we're just going to let the signal hopefully catch up. I, I really hate it when the signal does this, but I'm sorry I have no... Absolutely no way to control the internet signal and the Wi-Fi and the, you know, whatever is happening here. So, let's see. Did it clear? Oh, no. Now it's not again. It's trying. It's really trying. Let me get out the next products and then we'll see. We'll, we'll hope that it clears up. So here, Tammy was asking if the tree lot dies are still available. So here they are, just debuted today as a free gift choice. Look at all these adorable dies. Oh my goodness, so much fun. And I did already show you this cute card, so we'll keep that one out. And now let me show you another card that I did. And I think this one will be on my blog Monday because it's red, white, and blue, so it's kind of like 4th of July. Isn't that cute? And I did the camper in red, white, and blue. I thought it was so cute. So it is actually Orchid Oasis and um, Sweet Sorbet, two of the new colors. And can you see, I'm going to hold this close and hold it still, and I'm just going to pray that Everything cooperates. Can you see those fun embossed clouds in the background? This is a new embossing folder in the annual catalog. It is called Into the Clouds. So let me show you. Here we go. Six by six into the clouds. And it's a very different looking cloud pattern than we've ever had before. I... I really think it's really cool. Can you all see that? Is it, is it clear? It's fuzzy on my end again. I hope maybe it's just my iPad signal. But I used the trees and of course the camper. And this is one of the craft note cards. It's in the annual catalog. And I thought that was really fun. I did film a short video for Instagram. It will be on Instagram 
I think I'll put it up Sunday and then I'll link to it in Monday's blog post for this. But this great, great set of dies is one of your free gift choices with a $100 order during celebration. I love this sample. I think that is my favorite sample in the entire celebration catalog. I think it's adorable. And let me show you that it coordinates, it says on here, um, right here, that it coordinates with the Trees for Sale stamp set. So let me show you that one. Uh, it doesn't give the page, does Oh, page 39. Yep, it does. So here we go. So in the holiday catalog, well, I keep calling it that. It's the July to December I call it holiday. Here's trees for sale. This stamp set comes with all of these images and you can pair it up with this set of dies. So if you love this set of dies like I do, I would suggest getting this stamp set and if you need some inks or you need paper, whatever, and if your order is $100, then you can select the dies to go with it as your free gift. Oh, good. Okay, so it's clear. Thank you. I'm glad it is because my iPad is looking fuzzy and I'm just really, really praying that it's not fuzzy. All right, so that is that adorable set. Almost done. This is a bundle that Stampin' Up! is offering, uh, free with a $100 order. So there is a stamp set called Wonderful World as well as designer paper. I'll flip through here rather quickly so you can see up close. Beautiful floral and um, geometric patterns. And I want to show you a set of cards that I made with it. There's one last piece though. I I just couldn't bear to cut this into a four by six because I want to use all of these. But this this is one of the patterns. And then here's the beautiful back side of that one. So I didn't cut that one. I just, I couldn't bear to. <laughs> but let me show you. This is just another one of those quick ideas that you might want to do. These are the Stampin' Up! white note cards. I used the rectangle postage punch from the annual catalog, and I sort of got this idea from Joanne Hewins. I know Joanne was on here earlier. I don't know, Joanne, if you're still here, but I she used, uh, I think it was the rectangle stitched dies, and she cut out, let me find the pattern. She cut out these pieces out of, so you have like a rectangle around each one. And I decided it looked like, in my mind, a postage stamp. And so I just used my postage stamp punch on that paper and made it, I think, I hope, look like postage stamps. And by stamping the word love on them, I thought it made it look a little more like a postage stamp. And I'll show you the stamp set is called Full of Love. And I just used a marker to get that love to stamp on those. And then I stamped the entire greeting on a piece of the designer paper from this pack as my greeting. And then these cute little goodies here are from this stamp. So I stamped the whole thing, but I used my scissors to just cut out that rectangle. Tammy, it's not hard. That's not difficult fussy cutting. You can do it, right? <laughs> and I added that. And then you have a choice. You could just cut out like that, or look, I cut out around. See? Can you... Let's get the glare off of there. Sorry. This ring light's going to make me crazy. So do you see right at the top of that? I just left that part of it and colored it and left that as part of, like it looks like flowers are coming out of the envelope. So a super simple card, but I, I just really thought this was fun. An easy way to use this paper. Nice little set of cards if you wanted to give it as a gift. 
So that's that one. And then this host set is available when your entire order or if you have a party or you have a group of people together. Uh, this is free with a $300 order. So I don't have that one yet. It's on its way, but I don't have it yet. And then I told you I would show you this before I let you go. So let me show you quickly. Stampin' Up, I think always, I think always is a safe word to use, offers a gift during celebration to new people who join Stampin' Up. So if you've been a customer and you want to join or you've been a demonstrator maybe in the past and you want to rejoin, this is a gift you would get. So it's this gorgeous binder and then inside you have a planner and it goes through the last half of 2022 and all of 2023. Can you even believe that? Amazing. Um, I did. My dear friend Tammy came over and showed me how to put this together because the pages are loose and you put this together yourself depending on how many weeks are in each month. So you have your weeks and you put as many in as you need. And at the end of that, then you have your review of the month. And then you have a page for some extra notes and some some lined paper. And then you have your focus for the next month, your two-page spread for the next month. And then you go into uh, the weeks again. So it's lovely. You get that. Oh, you know what? You also get this stamp set and mine is somewhere. I don't know where mine is. I'm sorry. I've packed it away with my other new thing. Not packed away, but it's in a box with my other new things. So you do get a stamp set. You also get three of these adorable little notebooks and they're all different inside. And you get stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? If you're a child of the 70s, 60s, and 70s, You like me, you love stickers. So all of that is a free gift. It's automatic. You don't have to do anything. So if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, that is what you get. All right, so I'm just going to put these out. I'm going to check and see if there are questions. So we have that designer paper. We have the adorable tree lot dies. We have the Hippo stamp set and dies. Those are available. We have the Rings of Love, I think. Did I say that right? Rings of Love paper. We have the note cards. Where is our foil? We have the foil sheets. The different patterns. Let's see. I don't know what happened to my four pieces. They're, they're somewhere. You should see this pile that's over here. It's dangerous. Everything's about to fall on the floor. Uh, we have this stamp set, this wonderful stamp set. So we have tons of gifts in the Celebration catalog. So many things to choose from. Now, whew, I need to take a deep breath. <laughs> that was like a marathon, wasn't it? You know, I just want to say thank you so much, everybody who joins me. I know a few of you were looking for me last week, but I had announced that I would not be doing a live last week. I took one week off. And so, um, yeah, you did not miss it. I just did not have one. But here, this is all the goodness, all the fun things. And I want to answer your questions if you have any about celebration, about the gifts, about the samples. Uh, what did I use to cut the tags? So this is the die set that I showed. Hang on. It's right here. It's from the um, holiday catalog. It's this die and it's called Celebration Tags. Celebration Tags. Sorry. that's uh, I showed that earlier. You might have jumped in late. So there you go. What else? What can I answer? You're welcome, everybody. I'm glad that you enjoyed this. And again, if you don't have a demonstrator, if you need catalogs, if you need to place an order, I would love to do that with you. Pattystamps.com is my blog. You can find everything there. It is a great celebration. I think this is my favorite celebration in a long, long time. Give me a heart or a thumbs up if you think so as well. I just think it's 
a super great celebration. Any questions that I can answer for you? Just checking comments. Thank you, Terry. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Yes, hearts and thumbs up. You agree. You're welcome, Janet. I love uh, um, showing off the products in this way. To me, this is the way that you can really see how you might use the products instead of just saying, you can get this paper. I mean, it's helpful, but when you see these ideas, I think it's extra helpful. Thanks, Tammy. You are welcome, Barbara. Yeah, Susan. So great point. Susan said she would have missed a lot of this in the catalog. I agree. It takes a few times to go through it. No problem, Michelle. No problem. Yes, celebration is twice a year. They've been doing that for a couple of years, and it is nice. It is nice that you have two times a year to enjoy the free gifts. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Sue. Well, fabulous, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I don't see any other questions or comments. So, well, I see comments. Sorry, I don't th see any other questions. So I am going to let you go. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend. If you're here in the U.S., be safe if you are celebra <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> if you're celebrating 4th of July with picnics or anything that you're doing, if you're traveling, I hope that you have a fabulous time. And I will, can't locate the postage punch. It's in the annual catalog on the punch page. Cami, let me show you. So in the punch section, it's right here, page 153, Cami. Any other questions? Are you going to post your, yes, uh, Barbara, yes. I did say that they will all be on my blog within the next couple of weeks. Uh, I can't do one big blog post. My blog would blow up if all of these were on one. But yes, over the next couple of weeks, you can check uh, daily. I will have extra cards there for you for ne the next couple of weeks. Yeah. And also check my Instagram, Patty Stamps on Instagram, because I've been posting some of them there as well as the short videos, the 60 and 90 second videos. All right. You're welcome. Fabulous. Thanks, everyone. I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.